Okay, so what we are introduced here in Balanced View is, is into our really powerful and potent nature as a human being. I mean, we are all so powerful human beings and that's what we are introduced in Balanced View. And we are not only introduced to that, but we also get the tools to really make that alive in our everyday life, very practically, very practical tools for everyday situations. And, and that's, that's the, the, that was for me the most um, powerful thing when I came here because I, I could really see that I can apply these short moments repeated many times into really every circumstance of my life, very practically. I could apply that. I could not only apply the short moments, but I had a whole support system of the Four Mainstays to really bring that about in, in my life. The Four Mainstays, the practice of short moments repeated many times, the trainings, the media on the web page, the trainer and the community, all just here for us to really bring that about in our daily life. That ease and potency that we all are, just so naturally are, just getting familiar with that again and again in our direct experience really uh, getting familiar with that. And, and, that uh, and we can allow ourselves time to get familiar with that. I mean, that was for me a big thing to see, wow, we're, I'm actually so powerful and potent and I'm not that, that small little individual that, that doesn't have any, anything to contribute. <laughs> That's often how I perceived myself. All oh, the others can do so much more and everybody is so much better in that. But now, no, now really getting familiar with our own, own power to contribute to the world and bring, really bring about benefit, not only to ourselves, but others. And we all have access to that in, in every moment of our life, no matter what data stream comes up, so no matter what thought, emotion or sensation is there for us. We can always apply short moments and see that the, that um, every data stream is a great opportunity just to see and break away from our old habit of viewing our, our world. Everything is a great opportunity. So feeling rejected or feeling cranky or whatever it might be, perfect opportunities to really test that in your own experience. See that we can be completely at ease within the crankiness, completely at ease within the rejection, feeling completely rejected. That's so natural. Everyone feels that at one point. Or it comes up for most people. I mean, I definitely know that for sure, from my own direct experience. Every time these data streams came up, I could see more and more an empowerment within that, in letting them be as they are, without going into any stories around that, without going into a story why I'm, I'm, I'm cranky or why I feel rejected or this person did that. Really stopping the stories right there. We always have that choice to stop uh, the description of what is going on. And stopping the description is, is really, was really key for me in, in, in um, relying on open t intelligence because I had so many stories around everything basically, about how I looked, about how, I, uh, how um, people perceive me, how I perceived other people, what pe other people need to do so that I feel comfortable. I mean, endless stories in, 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 any, in any area, but just stopping the description when any sensation came up or any thought came up, right there. Relax body and mind completely. When, when anger comes up, when rejection comes up, rest there deeply, feeling it completely. We're now all tapping into that ability to feel everything completely without needing to change it in any way to feel comfortable or more, more easeful in our life by letting it be as it is, without describing anything. Letting all the descriptions just naturally flow on by. That is the nature of all our, our data streams. They just flow on by. We don't need to do anything for them to um, go away or to change them. They just naturally resolve. <coughs> they appear, they are there for a while and then they resolve. Then they come up again and then they stay around and then they go again. That's just the nature of all data streams. So we can completely relax with that flow, really rest deeply with the flow of data streams just doing their thing without us needing to emphasize them or giving them seemingly more power to affect our 
life satisfaction and, and limit our, ourselves in any way. You can just let them flow on by with, with any data stream. And that really applies to everything that, that we um, perceive. And, and more and more naturally, these short moments just become longer and, and more and more continuous. And if we wonder what, what, a, what a short moment is, and that often came up for me even after months of, of being in the training, oh, oh, what was a short moment again? And then just listen to a talk or come to an open meeting. And then we see, wow, that ease that we then feel, and that's right there. A short moment doesn't need to look a certain way. Really relying on the four mainstays will always direct us back to that to that recognition of, of potency and ease in our life that is always present. The underlying presence of, of all our data streams is opening intelligence. That intelligence that we can always count on. We can always count on that for our, um, yeah, for our well-being and for our life satisfaction there. And that's, that's guaranteed. Now, I had many data about my body image. I mean, I, I did so, many, so much sports because I, I wanted to look fit and healthy and thin and all, all of, kind of that thing. So that was my motivation to do a lot of sports. So always when I would then eat a piece of cake, I knew, okay, next day I need to do sport. And I had all, of, all kinds of, of, of these stories. And really all that, um, all that energy that went into that, thinking that I need to look a certain way or have a certain weight and then I will be feeling completely at ease and happy. And, and often when I was very slim and very strong and everything, my data streams, they didn't change. I had the same thing, same, same data streams still going on. So I really could see that, that my, my sense of ease and, and life satisfaction is not dependent on on me being a certain way. So I tested it out then a while, then I just deliberately <laughs> didn't do any sport and exercise for months and months and just ate chocolate cake and rested <laughs> with all the, <laughs> the data stream that came, the uncomfortability and all the, the self, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that now again, just testing it out completely. And I was amazed what I found. I, was, I could be at ease with all of, of that. Now I don't suggest everyone to do that, but I just did that to <laughs> test it out and to, to prove myself, wow, I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I have a little belly or it doesn't matter how, you know, and it, it's amazing that ease that came with that. It was just, it's unbelievable. And now I just, now it, it's such an ease with and, and, and such a naturalness in, in how I, I, I eat chocolate cake and or how I do my exercise. It's not about getting rid or letting, you know, doing nothing or anything like that. I just know exactly what my body now needs and, and there's so much ease with that and so much joy. I actually enjoy doing exercise now. I enjoy doing all of that things. And I actually also for the first time enjoy eating chocolate cake because <laughs> I didn't feel guilty anymore eating it, you know, or thinking, oh, I need to do now some exercise. So it's really, and that comes with everything more and more in our life. This this ease within everything and that knowing what serves best for ourselves in every situation but also for others and, and so it, it, that includes our, our body, mind and speech. You know, knowing really what will be of most benefit in any situation. So also when we are with people who are completely into their data streams, really rest deeply with everything that brings, stirs up for you in that situation. Rest there completely. That's also such a good practice. And then we can open up more and more. I, I then realized, wow, I had this annoyance about then people not, you know, not relying on open intelligence and, and emphasizing their data streams. But more and more I let that be as it is and it opened up to that compassion for, for, for everyone. For everyone who doesn't know that they have a choice there in their life to really w w how they want to use their speech and mind. <coughs> opening up to that open-heartedness and then opening up simultaneously into the skillful means and how, how um, to be in a situation and it can look any certain way. We don't need to stay in a situation where we feel that, that, that people are going on and on and speaking. We can really see, but also um, I, I saw from my own experience, sometimes I would remove myself in, 
from a situation and sometimes I would just open-heartedly listen or change the subject or you know it can be anything and you will know exactly how to be in any situation open-heartedly from the vantage of open intelligence even completely skillful in, 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 in how to be in a situation that, that elicits and evokes open intelligence and supports that situation and the other person in a way and that's what we are opening up more and more, seeing that we can be of benefit in any circumstance, in any situation for everyone, just by us resting deeply with all our things that is going on in a situation. It just needs one person to really rely on open intelligence to resolve a complete uh, circumstance there and see what will be of most benefit. That's the power of, of short moments and that's the power of everyone, each and every one has. The power if we don't collapse into our data streams, really letting them flow on by. I mean, we don't want to limit ourselves with, with the data that is going on for us. Because if we focus in on them, then we just see the data. We don't see everything completely clear from the vantage of open intelligence. And, and so that's why we, we, we come back again and again and rely on the Four Mainstays, because we want that wide open vantage, that clarity in every moment to see how we can benefit a situation, how we can see how we can relate in situations, how we can, can um, most beneficially um, support and empower everyone around us. That's basically what we want. We want to empower ourselves and others and really live to our full potential as human beings. And that's, that's what we get more and more used to and more and more familiar with, coming back again and again, relying on the Four Mainstays to really make that um, apparent and obvious in our daily life, very practically. And we can, always, we can really see the benefits already immediately by taking short moments. Short moments repeated many times, more and more becoming continuous in our own direct experience, just so naturally, just by our commitment to really wanting that above all else, prioritizing open intelligence, seeing that the benefits that we receive from relying on open intelligence just open a, up a whole new vantage and a whole new, um, yeah, a whole new set of how we can be in the world and relate to people.